It's your host on the coast with the rose. She. <sighs> All right. Today on the B Rack Break 25, we will be talking about Malcolm Little, or better known as Malcolm X. Malcolm Little was born May 19th, 1925, in Nebraska. When he was six, he found his father dead, laying across the town's trolley tracks. The town ruled it out as an accident, but Malcolm knew better. His mother went to a state mental hospital, and Malcolm was placed in a juvenile home. As time went on, Detroit Red dropped out of school and wore zoot suits. In, seven, in 1946, he was arrested for stealing a watch and went to jail for eight to ten years. When Malcolm left prison, he had rid himself from the last name Little. He considered it a slave name. He instead used an X to signify his lost ancestral name. In 1952, the NOI, or the Nation of Islam, has four, temp four temples and only 400 members. Malcolm was disappointed and wanted to make it bigger, but after traveling to the Middle East and, and Africa and seeing the place that could be made, he started denouncing Elijah Muhammad. He grew suspicious as he had repeated, I mean repeated, adulteries in his own version. The Muslim Mosque incorporated and was marked for assassination by the FBI. But sadly, eventually they succeeded. At a speech in Manhattan's audit, Audubon Ballroom in February 21st, 1965, three gunmen rushed Malcolm on stage and shot him 15 times at close range. He pronounced dead in Columbia Presbyterian Hospital, 39 years old. His philosophy helped, philosophy helped in later movements such as the forming of the Black Panther Party. His philosophy also helped bring segregation to an end like today. Now, for a related story, I will hand it to my dad, Brad. Thank you, Kirsch. Now, our next topic of the day is on the Civil Rights Act of 1964. The importance of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was to have equal rights through all and rights for the African Americans who may have been previously enslaved or born while parents were enslaved in the South. Many still hate the African Americans and think they have no right to vote or do anything. There was an organization made by Southerners called the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. They attacked, lynched, shot, and tortured African-American families to make them scared of voting for rights or to show they don't deserve civil rights. Many of their attempts to stop the African-Americans worked, but that didn't stop them all. Many marched in the streets across the whole continent to show how badly they wanted their civil rights. It rubbed onto President John F. Kennedy before he before it passed. He wanted to see everyone in the U.S. to have equal rights. The rights were enacted in July. This has been our episode on Malcolm X and the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Thank you for listening. Have a great day, and we will see you later on the Break 25 channel.